In this video we're going to have a look at the second game in the theme series, Theme Hospital. Theme Hospital is a business simulator game developed by Bullfrog Productions for the PC and Chrysalis Productions for the PlayStation and published by Electronic Arts. It was originally released for the PC Worldwide on the 28th of March 1997 and then released in Europe on the Sony PlayStation in February 1998. It is the second game in the theme series, the first being the very successful theme park. The aim of the game is to run a fictional hospital and you must treat a number of patients with fictional and comical diseases, such as bloody head, which swells the patient's head and you must pop it like a balloon in one of the treatment rooms and King Complex where a patient will impersonate Elvis. The game starts with an empty hospital and it is up to you to build the reception, treatment rooms and hire staff such as doctors, nurses and handymen. Each member of staff will have their own strengths and weaknesses and it's up to you to hire the best people for the jobs. The handymen also maintain the equipment and keep the hospital tidy by cleaning up litter. If you don't have enough handymen the litter will build up and the hospital will become untidy and infested with rats. As the levels move on the difficulty increases the hospital becomes more and more busy. You require to build more seating areas and facilities such as toilets and drinks machines. And you've also got to make sure the staff are happy as well by making sure that they have staff rooms and facilities as well. Also, you can make the staff more happy by adding windows and plants and other things that you can find in the inventory. Natural disasters also occur during the game as well, which causes an influx of patients and also the machines to then malfunction due to earthquakes happening. If you don't have enough handymen to repair the machines, you may need to replace them or they can break down while the patients are using them and it makes your reputation of the hospital go down. So you do need to make sure that you're on top of the equipment at all times. It is a really challenging and enjoyable game. There's a massive amount of humour in the game. And I am glad that they chose to make the illness as humorous as I think. If they had been too morbid, if it would, I think it would have been too morbid if it was a true life situation. The announcements over the speaker are just hilarious as well, reminding patients not to die in the corridors and things like that, it's just so funny. Um, it has that great British humour, that's really good and there's a lot of little um, digs towards uh, British comedy in there as well. It's extremely addictive when you play it as well, I mean you can play on this for hours. I've owned it for the PC and PlayStation and I spent many hours just playing on it on the PC and you completely lose track of time and it's amazing that you think you're building a hospital <laughs> I mean it, you would never think it would work I would have years ago if someone gave me a game and said oh you've got to build and run a hospital I would just look at them and say you're ridiculous but 
it does actually work. It is really good. And the, the PC version transferred to the PlayStation flawlessly, I believe. Um, there's no issues with the like point and click the PlayStation controller. You can do it uh, really smooth. There's no problems at all. I rate this game loads. Um, I prefer it to Theme Park. That's how much I like this game. It's a really awesome game. Really addictive, but fun as well. So this was the game that I had for the PC and the PlayStation. I had it originally for the PlayStation, and then I remember getting it for the PC. I think it was a bundle that I got free with the PC, and just remember there wasn't really many differences on the PlayStation and PC version. As I recall, I think the PC version had a music soundtrack, whereas the PlayStation 1 doesn't, but brilliant games. I just love playing the um, theme hospital games, they're just so fun to play. Just got a lot of comedy in them as well. I think that's what, why they work. I think if it would have been a really morbid game about a real hospital, it just wouldn't have worked, especially if it was about the NHS, how am it? Uh, how amazing they actually are, but with the government cuts, it would just be really depressing here and show like a real like, a &E. So I'm glad that they went along with the comedy themed hospitals, it really does w work on this occasion. I think this is a spiritual successor for the PS4 um, and PC Two Point Hospital. I might get that down the line and see what that's like. I've never played it, but I have heard from friends that it is a really good game so I might get that at some point and give it a go but yeah really enjoyed playing on this one it brought back a lot of good memories and it's still really fun to play now and really addictive and so I was gonna have it like an hour playing on it like five hours had passed and that and even finished the hospital so yeah really fun to play and I really enjoyed it okay so that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it and got something out of it if you did please leave a like and subscribe let me know in the comments what you thought of theme hospital if you had any good memories of it or if you've played two point hospital as well what the differences are let me know and again just leave me a comment let me know if you've watched the video just did say hi it's nice to hear from people watching the videos but yeah I hope to see you soon in another video